the years, SNV has done a lot to encourage women to work in the honey business. By promoting transitional and modern beehives, and by providing training and advisory services, SNV has helped open a traditionally male sector to women. <laughs> Contrarily to traditional beehives that are placed high up in trees, modern and transitional hives can be placed in the backyard. This makes beekeeping more accessible to women. Ethiopia is the biggest producer of honey in Africa. Most of it is consumed locally as honey wine, which is a popular drink among Ethiopians. Only a small portion is processed into table-grade honey. SNV invested in the sector because of its potential to increase production of table-grade honey. Export of table-grade honey is going to be a big boost to the economy of Ethiopia. However, traditional beekeeping and traditional hives are no longer adequate for the production of export quality table-grade honey. To produce quality table-grade honey, beekeepers must use modern beehives, which allow them to harvest the honey at the right time. Modern box hive beekeeping is very expensive and unaffordable by many ordinary farmer beekeepers. So I have tried to produce improved hives made from cheap and locally available material. After 10 years of research, Dr. Nuru came up with a transitional beehive. Like the modern hive, it also produces table-grade honey, suitable for exports. SNV works with Dr. Nuru to promote his transitional hive, and today, 50,000 are now in operation. <laughs> They yield from these transitional hives is three times more than that of traditional hives. In many parts of the country this time, colony shortage became a serious problem. One of the advantages of this transitional hive is it can be used for colony multiplication. Since Mambera switched over to more modern methods, her profits have increased. She now also runs a cooperative and works with 80 beekeepers. They can produce their own honey, ready for sale and consumption. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to